Hey guys, today we're going to be making an interpreter for a language called Brain. Brain is a joke programming language made up of only a few characters. Technically, it is trying to complete meaning can solve any computational problem, but try to code anything in it, and I think you can see where it got its name. In order to write an interpreter for the Brain programming language, we actually have to know how it works. So Brain is composed of a tape. This tape it has values full of cells, and each uh, cell has a numeric value. Uh, these values range from 0 to 255. There is also a pointer pointing to one of these cells. So there are a couple operators uh, in the brain fry programming language. There's the left angle bracket, which moves the pointer to the left. The right angle bracket, which moves the pointer to the right. There's also a plus operator, which increments the value by 1. A minus operator, which decrements the value by 1. And uh, there is also a period and a comma. And what the period does is it outputs the ASCII value of this. So let's say the cell was 97. Well, 97 would be A in ASCII, so it would output an A. And the uh, comma does the reverse. It inputs the character you enter. So this is basically put char, get char. There is also uh, brackets. And basically, all code in between the brackets get repeated until the current value is zero. So while the value is not zero, everything in the bracket loops. OK, so the first thing I did was uh, create the project, of course. After this, I uh, set up the basic BF file and also the actual interpreter C file and uh, created a basic hello world file. So then I started work on the pointer and the tape, which I called the pointer and the tape would be the memory variable and it could store up to 125 integers. And also I initialized all the value to zero. Before that, I told though I created a load file function because I needed to be able to load the BF files. It's very simple. It opens a file in read mode and then it copies it to a character buffer. So once that's done, I created a variable called source, which uh, loads in a file argument you give via the command line, and we'll see that in action when I actually show the code working. And I also created a char number, which basically served as the index, and then I created a loop to loop over every char. And then I created a uh, if statements for every uh, a character the interpreter might run across and uh, these are the same operators as before uh, that I showed in my explainer video so while I'm setting up all this I just want to thank people on the code go for discord server which is a YouTube channel I'll leave a link in the description for the feedback they gave on my last video uh, I also started like I added the angle brackets movement, so I made the pointer move left and right, and also doing a quick check to make sure it wasn't out of bounds. And then I started working on the plus operator and the minus operator, and as you can see, I'm incrementing the current value in memory. But I have to check that it's uh, less than 255, like, or otherwise I loop it over to zero, and I have to check that it's uh, greater than zero, otherwise I loop it over to 255. Also, this may be a bit of a sorter video, but I have a bunch of other plans. And I also worked on some input and output stuff, which is just very simple. Print the character, and also get char, so.
Uh, so then I started working on the brackets, which is by far the most complicated pride process. And not complicated in general, but complicated compared to all the other operators. Uh, first I had to check if the value is non-zero. Then I have to check if... Uh, uh, then I have to loop over until I find uh, a closing bracket and uh, and basically if I find a like closing bracket and there's a zero brackets that are open that means I found the matching bracket and uh, I can just go on my merry way otherwise if I find an open bracket, I have to increment count open by one, and then if I find a closed bracket, I have to minus count open by one. And that's a very simple uh, way to find out, uh, like match the brackets essentially. And then I basically did the same algorithm, but like reversed for uh, closing brackets. And then after this, I'm uh, pretty much done. Except, uh, you know, once I get the closing brackets working. And I should be done with my interpreter. Like I said, this is a shorter episode. But I have, like, a cool star field effect and, uh, falling sand. Uh, falling sand cellular automata coming up, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so now we need to actually run our interpreter on this Hello World file. So, uh, just using this command. And blah, it prints Hello World. It interprets the file correctly, and our brain fry interpreter is working.